Let me say hello to you wherever you may be as we join this festival and games. It's an extraordinary honour for me for the last three years to give this short welcome and introduction to the Fergus Scottish Festival and Highland Games. Let me formally say as Lord Lyon, as one of the great officers of state for Scotland that predates the Union of the Crowns, that I send you greetings on this lovely summer day from Scotland. This year I sit in my study in my home in the County of Angus, the birthplace of the nation of Scotland, just a few miles from here, in a coastal town, the Declaration of our Broth was signed, bringing into being the nation of Scotland. And I come today to thank all those involved in putting this festival and games together to celebrate what it means to have our roots here in Scotland. The true meaning of celebration is at the central value system of our Scottish connections. It's about a true sense of belonging and connecting one with each other, no matter how we do it or where we are. The Fergus Scottish Festival and Highland Games has been around for over 75 years. And that sense of belonging to Scotland is in its ceremonies, in its proceedings, and in all of its wonderful activities. I remember with a great sense of pride being personally with you in 2019 and that true wow factor that existed over that weekend. Over 22,000 visitors in three days and all above this was the binding theme, the binding theme of the festival and games about it really belonging to those who attended and those who came to truly celebrate Scotland in a distinctive Canadian way. I spoke to many over that weekend who'd already booked their slots or their sites for coming back in 2020. And when we look back, that didn't happen. But of course, a different approach was taken by the innovative organisers and we went in a different direction as our world went in a different direction through the COVID-19 pandemic. But as those rooted and good Scots always do, we were able to adapt. And here we are at this wonderful occasion, wonderfully interwoven with the themes of kinship and family connection. And above all, in good Scots style, to come together to enjoy ourselves and what it means to have our connections with Scotland. The activities of this festival and games are legendary. The pipes and drums, the stirring of that music, the dancers with their enthusiasm and energy, the enactors of parts of our history, the tug of war which is one of my favourite games and of course all of this is linked with the personal relationships and the hospitality and the friendships that are built up. When we look at any Highland Games, and particularly your own, the tartan with all its vibrant colours and connections and its belonging as the national dress of Scotland is displayed everywhere you go. It's quite exciting to see the different tartans and the way they're worn and the way that people wear them with pride. The tartan, of course, is about recognition nationally and on a personal level. It is a symbol of pride and is an important part of Scottish cultural identity. It's also a unique thing as it has a unique function within clans and families. And this again, your festival and your games celebrate. The connections of many Scots, wherever they may be, following a family name, such as McGregor or Ferguson or McLaren. For today is not just about the past connections, but about the future. One of the highlights of my visit to the festival and games was to meet and be greeted by the clan and family stalls and to share their stories. 
spend some time over this festival to share stories in good Scots style, but also to wear the tartan and to share hospitality. All of these functions are caught up in what makes this a most excellent occasion. All the connections we can find, every connection we can find, and our links with Scotland need to be identified and to be celebrated. Every participant to the festival and games is part and parcel of that welcome, which is the value of what it means to be part of the living Scotland, wherever we may be. Every part of the festival and games preserves and grows distinctive heritage, but not just about the past, about how we are and live today as part of Scotland. It's not just about past heritage. It's about friendship, kinship, and above all the values that mean that we are part of the international Scottish family, a family I am so proud to belong to. These are the elements and values we celebrate, particularly those of kinship and friendship. And these are central to why this, this festival and games needs to go ahead in whatever form that needs to be. Some of you will know that I have great love for all things Scottish. What you might not know, that I've got a great love for the music and the history of the Swedish pop group ABBA. Now you might think that I've lost the place, but there is a point in this. There is a line in one of the ABBA movies when, and when someone says, there is no point in climbing a ladder if it's on the wrong wall. There is no point in climbing a ladder if it's on the wrong wall. You'll all be pleased to know I'm not going to sing that to you in one of the ABBA tunes, but I want you to hold on to that thought. Your organisers and the people who attend this, this event have their ladder on the right wall. Now climb to reach the top and enjoy yourselves and see what's beyond the event itself, which is a celebration of Scottish international family life in true Canadian style. Enjoy this festival and games and enter into its activities the best way you can. And let's say thank you to those who have put it together. Till we meet again and haste ye back in person in the year to come to this wonderful event. Thank you. <laughs>